Hey guys, uh, so today I actually brought a video of someone playing, so it's going to be essentially a VOD review. Uh, I'm going to talk about basically macro fundamentals of playing Robocraft. Uh, thanks for Triple D for allowing me to use this footage. Uh, yeah, let's jump straight into it. I won't be focusing too much on micro stuff like aim or like movement overall, but I will mention it a little bit, but I'll focus more on like positioning and things like that. Let's dive straight into it. So obviously the recording started a little bit late because it's supposed to start at 13 minutes I believe. No, right now it's like 9 minutes right now, but let's go on for now. Okay, so straight off the bat I, I noticed that uh, I have a teammate flanking bar. Uh, one team is down. Uh, the rest of my team is essentially full HP except for the one on mid, right? So the one on mid, uh, it seems like on the mini map and uh, the auto spot, uh, it seems like the entire enemy team is going towards mid. So I can, I should be able to position myself based on that. I, so which means that I have a teammate on the right bottom. You can see that I have a teammate are, are trying to help mid right here, but he's at full HP as you can see on the left top. Uh, and the other teammate just spawned, so you can see still on base. So right now the best option would be to, I'd say, probably go bridge and uh, rail some people going towards mid, so that uh, anyone trying to go too far to uh, prevent your teammate from capping far can be poked down with rail a little bit, and you have some space to fall back if, you, if needed. He checked near just in case there's the last guy on the enemy team because there's five people and there's only four other spots happening right now. So that's that's fine. He just checked momentarily. Now this is the issue that's arising first. Uh, so your teammate decided to jump into a one v two, technically a one v three, but I'm pretty sure uh like if you see here. Uh, the last guy wasn't auto spotted yet, so maybe he was just looking at mid without thinking. So this should technically be an okay engagement at the start. Uh, however, uh, as he advances in, you saw that it turns into a 2v3, right? Uh, look at the weapon types of all these people. So it seems like they have tier 4 chain. Uh, that's, I think, a tier 4 or tier 5 chain. Yeah, no, that's a tier 4 chain. Uh, and the last guy, he looks a bit fragile, but uh, he's also there. Uh, there, And compare that to what uh, your team has on mid. You have one chain and one rail. Uh, that's not enough to out DPS two tier 4 chains, and I think that's a Mega Plasma uh, on... No, I don't think that's Mega Plasma. I think those are just low tier SMGs. But yeah, two tier 4 chains is enough to out DPS both your rail and tier 5 chain, so it would actually have been better to just fall back towards near a little bit, or maybe help uh, the guy cap uh, far, since this is a horse, right? This is a sprinter. Sprinter jumps are very versatile, because it allows you to move across uh, the map really fast. So what I would, do, would have done was sprinter jump towards far and try to help over there, rather than just uh, standing here and uh, railing with with this guy and eventually just be eating. So here, here's the biggest here's the biggest issue that I see. So I'm guessing Dan tried to do what I was doing, but he realized, oh, this guy's winning far, so I don't really need to go here. So he turns back, and then he sees that you know, uh, his teammate is dead. He's he's basically dead. Look at look at your. Uh, the enemy team. He's uh, the, he's they're almost at full HP while your teammate is like at forty percent or something. So what? Let's see what that's decides to do. So yeah, he decides to stay here and attack. This is a bad idea. You want to get out as fast as possible so that uh, you don't get caught up in the mess of all these enemies just attacking focus fire you at once. Uh, and you can see that uh, on the on far because them didn't go. Uh, there's a guy uh, just. No, your teammate is now dying on far because he's seeing a 2v3 now. And your other teammate is now arriving. I don't know what took him so long, but 
Yeah. Okay, so I don't know why the enemy decide to uh fall back in this weird position. It's probably because they're randoms. Well, well, this is not a bad idea since they're all low, and Dams and the other teammate is at full HP. But if they decide to rush Dams, I'm sure Dams would have been dead, or he had to run away to base. Uh, yeah. Okay, so this nano. What's the point of this nano? Do you see any any purpose other than to waste energy? It's, it would have been better to uh, just keep railing the enemy because look at your teammates' long range weapons. They're like tiny ass lasers. You have you have rail with almost uh, full energy. It's like seventy percent energy. You can fire at least two another two shots. And look at how low the en enemy is right now. Uh, if he has sprinter jump to this rock right here and just start railing the copter that was like at fifty percent HP, I'm sure he would have either crit or killed him. Uh, either that, or he can sprint jump onto the point immediately while turning towards the enemy and keep on railing him. Uh, yeah. Rather than turn, uh, turning to heal their teammate, because even if he was taking a little bit of damage, he's at like full percent. And he, you just saw that the enemy doesn't have any long range weapons, they were like tier 4 chains. So healing, this healing was highly unnecessary. So now, because he didn't turn around, oh, what? Huh? I do not know what happened there. Hold on. Okay, so because he didn't turn around, he almost allowed this random to push in and start attacking, which is totally a plausible thing because your teammate only has tier 5 chain while this guy's tier 4 chain. And tier 4 chain is substantially better than tier 5 chains due to the. simply because of the hitbox. And, uh. Thankfully, Dam didn't use more of his nano, so he still had some energy left. But if he didn't have energy to take care of him, then there is a very high chance that he would actually lost the 2v1, just because of the loadout of the situation. Uh, this is a good rail right there, but it should have taken a little bit shorter. Uh, th that's more of a micro issue, this aim issue, but yeah. That should have taken like split second, and he should have turned back a little faster so that he can uh, look at here and make sure this uh, chain can't engage but uh, looking here and then uh, allow preventing the chain from engaging is a good thing that's definitely a good thing now I was a miss but that was a weird blink like I didn't I wouldn't have expected that blink either so but I would have at least pre-fired because mega rail is actually not hit scan this game it's like a slight projectile so you can Slightly pre fire right before the enemy peaks, and you can still land your shots. Okay, so big issue here. Uh, Dems is the healer, he's the support, right? So I wouldn't go this way, I wouldn't go towards the bridge where every, all the enemy is coming from. What I would have done is uh, go towards the back side of this rock right here. And then start healing or attacking the enemy with your teammates. But because Dan decided to just ditch his teammates, his teammates are not dying. Now he, he can't engage them. And I'm pretty sure he died successfully here. Yeah. So because he didn't stick with his team, he didn't have someone to peel for him while he's healing or anything like that. So he just got died solo to Tesla while his teammates get farmed by the enemy team in a unfair situation. Because I'm pretty sure there's another guy above there shooting. Yeah, this the chain that blinked earlier. So this is a 3v2, and it should be a 3v3, but because Dems left momentarily, uh, it turned into a 3v2, and now your team is, his team is losing. That's more, that's more of a skill thing. Yeah, see, your team is now dying, they're now capping mid. Well, I don't know why they're not capping mid, but they should be mid, there we go. Yeah, your team is getting farmed by two of the enemies because he's alone now. Three v two. One guy just spawned with him. No, will be a where would? Oh, come on. No, where would be a good place to go right now? 
Right now, your weapon is real and a uh, power module in terms of offense. And most of the enemy is a frontliner. Like, all of them have either Chain or Tesla, or there was that one shitty copter, but he's not, he's not the one on mid. He, the one on the mid is Chain, so the chances of you winning mid is actually very low. So it would actually have been better if you went to bridge and railed this guy once. If he doesn't die, and maybe you can land another shot. If not, you can just go straight to far and help this guy cap far rather than engaging on mid and just dying to uh unfair 1v1. Okay, so I just noticed that there's two people on mid. They're both chained. This rail is not bad. But uh regardless, this is a chain engagement. Uh and it's not a fair situation for them because well this is Mega Rail against Tier 4 chain. Uh Tier 4 chain will most definitely win, especially with this much speed on the test uh on chain. So he's very lucky here, all of his teammates arrived at the same time to save his ass. But this was honestly, I'm gonna say this is pure luck. I think this is this is definitely pure luck. He should have died here. Yeah, that was just very lucky. Uh, right now, falling back to base is a lot better. Alright, because even if you go out to regen, uh, someone might tag you and you die instantly because of a uh, 20% rule. It would be better to just go back in base, take a dip, and come out. So what he did right here, this is actually really good. I think this is one of the most fundamental aspects of VA solo queue. Uh, as soon as you get enough of your HP back and you see their uh, auto heal timer ticking back to uh, the auto heal time, you can just exit your... Uh, Exit the base shield and just head out so you can heal along the way and you can engage in battle a lot earlier. So, this is a good rail right there. So he's going mid. Why? Uh, there's no reason to go mid. Are there any enemies? No, there's not a single enemy in sight. Your team is completely and perfectly healthy. Uh, but then look, at the, look down at the mushroom area down here. Uh, your teammate is doing a 2v3 and you saw you just saw that one of the guys is actually fairly low so it would have been better if you went to bridge and uh, started railing downwards uh, towards uh, start railing downwards so that uh, you, you can, your team can have some breathing room and it, this 2v3 in, turns into a 3v3 see Look at what's happening here. Because he's not here, this entire team is gonna die here now. Like, look, look at this. Yeah, look, look at how fast that guy's going down, because he's in a 4v2 now, right? This would actually not have happened if he killed one of them, because more people's like dps i'd say it's not a like a straight line like the more people they are the faster you will die like no matter what it's not a linear thing i'm pretty sure so yeah peel uh it, it would have been a lot better if you helped your team out like this is a team game like even if you're solo killing you got to make sure your teammates survive that's like one of the most important things like a lot of the times it's better to live and auto kill rather than die and wait for the timer because the, the death timer is a lot longer than your regen timer, and you have nano here, so you can actually speed up that healing a lot. So, yeah, a lot better to just. And the reason why I didn't tell him to go down and start railing is because, as I said, the en entire enemy team is a frontliner, so it would be better to rail from the top where they can't reach you. Yeah. Okay, uh, give me a second. No, I'm just fine, this is fine. Enemy team didn't, enemy, enemy team didn't engage. Okay, should you engage here? Uh, maybe. So you can see on the minimap that his team is joining him, that's why he pushed in. But should he have been the first one to push in? Is this an emergency holding or does he, he still has mid? There's no reason to rush in and try to defend this point because, well, 
like I said before, tier 14 out the out powers uh tier 5 rail unless you have godly aim and manage to two tap both the guns. Or one tap both the guns off, so two tap. So damn should not have been the first one to go in, especially if it's solo queue. You want to I know I just said you you should use make your team to survive, but you also have to remember you are trying to solo carry. So you can technically use your teammates as a meat shield sometimes. Like let your team push in first and then deal damage a little bit as you go in, and then you can be the front line and help your team defeat the enemy instead of just letting them die and falling back like a pussy. This target choice is really nice. Uh, so he's falling back, right? But then he saw this guy attacking, and he knows that this guy's going crit. This guy, this guy's bot looks like it's going to crit. So he just shot once, hoping that it would die. However, the issue here is that your teammate is—he's dying to the other two chains. It would have been better to shoot this guy right here, and then help your teammate kill him faster. Because Rocraft, the thing about Rocraft is that HP is not just HP. As your HP decreases, you also lose functionality and mobility. Uh, so it would have been better to shoot this guy right now and then uh, help your teammates kill the enemies. And right here, he tried to rail the guy coming in. But he missed, but he should have shot this guy. He should have kept shooting this guy because, well, like I said, uh, you lose functionality as you lose HP. And one thing about Roka, one thing about team games like this uh, is that a focus fire is very important, and your teammate is getting focus fire right now. So it would be better to focus fire this guy with your teammate so that he, you can uh, try and out damage the three people here. It's a three v three right now technically because this car is still here, but yeah, uh, it would be better to shoot this guy and help him push, uh, help your teammate push or defend. This rail was fine, but like I said. Shooting this guy would be better. Uh, circling around this rock is very good because the other the other stupid copter thing can't get to you anymore. But I I'd say uh engaging here is not a good idea. You won't make it in time to hold. You'll definitely not make it because this is two people on point. Uh and there's like like a split second of the timer left a uh, thing left. Uh engaging here would be basically suicide. Oh he actually made it in, what the fuck? Oh he stepped out. Uh I did not think he'll make it in, but that was very risky. Like, look at how close this is. Uh, if this guy wasn't on, was wasn't like off point for like split second here, like he went off point for like a second here, right? If he didn't do this, then this would have been capped, no matter what. I don't know why he just stood still here, but you should you should be looking towards the enemy, dude. Always, always look towards your enemy. Okay, she tries to circle around this rock and waste her time, that's good. So that uh, your teammates have some time to cap before it gets contested, that's pretty good. Uh, one thing to to note, uh, to waste people's time more, you can go back and forth, like, I would go to around, uh... Oh, go slightly out of sight, and then I turn immediately backwards, so that I go underneath the enemy. This actually tricks a lot of people, uh, which is actually really useful for... Uh, circling around the rock and wasting people's time. Well, he unfortunately died here, but keep that in mind next time, I guess. He may unfortunately die. I don't know what that blink was. Okay, so diving in here is completely fine because there's no enemies left. You don't want to stay on the top and get Tesla uh, just in case that Tesla decides to camp, it, camp you out and then come to for you. And your enemy is fairly low while your team is relatively healthy. But right here, would it be better to shoot or would it be better to heal? Right now, your enemy is insanely low. So this is actually a uh, decision that you should make on your own uh, instinct. But I, I personally heal here because... 
in case another enemy decides to engage, you want your teammate to be healthy. Like I said, you need your teammate, uh, even if it's a solo carry, you need your teammate to do at least something. So, even if, the, if, even if it's a meat shield, you still need a teammate. So, yeah, I would have just healed him right here, cause, especially because you have power module anyway. So, even if you use like half your energy, you'll still have it back and you'll be able to uh, keep attacking. Like, like here, look at how low that guy was. If you heal him, he should have been able to take that guy out completely fine. And now he's getting attacked. He's not going to be able to auto heal anytime soon. So, he's starting to heal here. But I honestly, this is not... At this point, uh, if this laser copter thing wasn't like a piece of garbage. Like, if he's using it when, like, I think this is like tier 3 lasers. I like the flight thing with a really pretty bot. Like, if you look here... He's just shooting, uh, he's just shooting, I don't, this should not be working, like, honestly, if that was a rail or a proper MSMG, this guy would be getting shredded right now. Especially because tier 5 chain, it does not work against long range, it's not meant to be a long range weapon. I'm pretty sure he's looking for the Tesla right here, uh, which is good because he saw the Tesla earlier and he hasn't seen him in a while. Uh, well, you can technically see him on mid. Uh, but can you see him? Let's see. No, you can't see him. You can't see his name tag. So look, turning behind for a moment here is fine because your team is like completely healthy and he's doing fine against this crit bot. But uh, it would have been better to just slightly strafe around a little bit, listening for the Tesla rather than looking for him, so that you can help your teammate uh, shoot this guy down. Okay, now, is healing unnecessar unnecessary here? No, it's not, because you just saw, Tesla is not nearby you. He's somewhere else. And he, uh, by this time, your teammate should be able to be uh, healthy enough to defend themselves. So this uh, healing is a waste of energy. You, sh you should be charging it up for your next encounter. Okay. Circling around this rock was very good. Uh, you're like diverging the enemy's attention a little bit, but uh, yeah, he's going back here. But you should not have turned around to shoot this guy. You should just shot him once more because I'm pretty sure that would be enough to kill him. Let's see here. Yeah, it wouldn't be enough to kill him, but it should be enough to split him in half and make him flip around a bunch, and your teammates can finish him off rather than. Engaging on this guy like one more shot and then engaging on this guy without the nano waste earlier should be enough energy and time for all of this to work properly Like if you're gonna turn back and then shoot this guy anyway, what was the waste of time? You just lost HP for no reason whatsoever uh, This uh, heals heals is pointless. It's a 3v1 just shooting him is completely fine. Like I said, focus fire is the key. Sometimes you just have to. Uh, sometimes the best support is DPS. Okay. Like because you didn't start shooting early, and now he knows. Oh, you're here, and he starts to rush you. And because he's not getting focus fire uh, enough, and because your teammates are now slow, this guy should be faster. But he lost a leg, and this guy's a mech. While this guy's a fucking hover with thruster spam. You're not gonna be able to outplace him right now. The best thing you can do is, as soon as he turns towards you, he, you should just sprint and jump the fuck out of there into your base. There's no point in staying at this at this point. Uh, if he just started shooting earlier, he should he probably should be flipping around and dying to your teammate. But that's obviously not the case because well, you just decide to heal instead of shoot. This is more of an aim issue. If you shot him, it wouldn't have been a problem. Like, if you landed the shot, there's no problem. If your action was fine, this is a mechanical issue. Uh, yeah. So what I'm noticing is that uh, Dems, uh, his aim is based on movement of his bot itself rather than his uh, mouse. If, you're, if you can't move your mouse enough uh, to actually shoot the enemy, 
Uh, like, let's see if he overswings any time. Okay, so... Let's see. So this is just standing still. It doesn't seem like it's overswinging. So uh, one issue, I th so I'd say the biggest issue is crosshair placement. You should always keep your crosshair on where the enemy is. That's like number one rule of FPS or any kind of shooter. So yeah, okay, this is more of crosshair placement issue. This class is very unlucky. Uh, nice waste of time here. Like it's a good attempt. Uh, that's that's fine. That's fine. This car should have been helping you, but yeah, that uh, that was. The Cessna was, it was unfortunate for you to eat the Cessna here, just random to not be turning around, but, yeah. The team is being useless, uh, mid-cap, nice. So right now, what's your best situation, best thing to do? Capping mid? Is it capping mid or going here into the 1v4? I think that should be self-explanatory. Your entire, their entire enemy team is on here. Your mid is being capped. All, it's almost there, it's almost there, but right now you're, even if you go here, will you do anything? Like, is there any purpose of going mid? No, near, other than just trying to die. No, I, it's better to just go mid and help this guy catch just in case the Tesla's there because you see four people only, there's one guy missing. Or so the other guy is probably the Tesla because you can't see his name. He's probably heading mid. It's a simple game sense, like deduction they can do. See, because the Tesla's here, it's not getting contested, he's dying. You're not going to be able to engage because it's a 2v1. Now you're going to triple cap again. 3v1, I have a 2v1. There's really not much you can do at this point. You, you've lost this match. Like, there's not enough time to recover. The core's not going to be enough. There's a guy who's probably stealing your face right now. Yeah, you can hear him. This is good, this is good. Uh, he pulled him away so your teammate can cap. This is very good. Uh, that's basically, you're, you're pulling your team, this guy away so your teammate can cap instead of being contested. Well, there's another guy here now, so it's kind of pointless, but if this guy was the only one here, that was, that was a good move. And you've lost. This is basically a loss. There's, no, there's nothing more you can do here, so that's basically it. But yeah, uh, that was the, the general fundamental macro play of like macro coaching, I guess, macro VOD review that I could do. Like this is probably not the only way to uh, confront this situation, but this is one of the ways. So if you learn something, uh, I, I don't know, nice. If you haven't, then I don't know, just ask me questions if you have any questions. Uh, if you want, you can... Uh, Ask me for a VOD review, like you can like t like upload it to your YouTube and just link me. Then I'll go ahead and do a VOD review as well. It doesn't have to be MP4. Like I got the file itself, but you can just upload to YouTube and I can do it there. But yeah, overall, uh, yeah, not bad. Uh, it's okay. It's an okay performance, but definitely a lot room for impl uh, improvement. It's, it would have been better in a lot of cases, in a lot of places, but. Yeah, uh, if you have any questions, leave a comment, uh, and yeah, I don't know how to wrap this shit up, so I guess I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.